If you are looking for the best water cooling cases, you are in the right place. We have tried to include in-depth information on water cooling cases in our video, which will be enough to fulfill all of your needs. All of them are maintaining their features, prices, quality, durability, and reputation of the manufacturer, and real customer feedback. If you want to buy a water cooling cases, we think this list will be very worthy to you. Now, let's get started with the video. At the first position of our list, we have Corsair Crystal 570X RGB. Let's be honest, water cooling a system isn't always about performance. There are few better feelings than posting your pulsating rig onto the R slash PC Master or subreddit. We can guarantee that if you decide to go with the Corsair Crystal 570 XRGB case, you and your PC will be the coolest kid on the block. Covered in tempered glass, you can hide your knockoff brand components in this beast, but if you are getting the Crystal, you probably don't use knockoff components to begin with. The Crystal 570 XRGB is a mid-tower case that can fit the kitchen sink. The 570 designates it as the second largest in the Crystal line, and you get what you pay for. The 570X has room for up to six case fans and any 306 dim or below radiators. It also features removable fan trays to make more room for cooling fans, making this an ideal choice for those wanting to water cool. The entire case weighs in at 24 pounds and measures 18.89 x 20.15 x 9.21 inches. The Crystal 570X supports most motherboards, starting at the top end with an ATX up to 272, micro ATX, and mini ATX. There are seven expansion slots, two 3.5-inch HD base, and two 2.5-inch SSD base. An interesting feature, all of the drive bays are located on the backside of the rear panel, clearing space and significantly reducing clutter in the central area. The drive bays are also toolless, a small but nice addition. All of the fans are removable but the Crystal Sports 3 Corsair SB120 RGB fans, an addition that would typically cost $65 by themselves. Since the entire case is covered in glass panels, good cable management is imperative to avoid cheapening the look. Thankfully, the Crystal provides cable routing channels with included Velcro straps to keep things crisp and clean. It also comes with a power supply cover with Corsair's own logo emblazoned on the front. Moving on to the next at number 2 with Thermaltake Core P90. Like a work of modern art, the angular design of the Thermaltake Core P90 looks like something straight out of a modern science fiction movie. This modular mid-tower features 5M thick tempered glass on two sides to show off its components and its unique way of isolating its internals allows for improved cooling capabilities. Thermaltake also boasts their Core P90 is capable of housing extreme liquid cooling setups but actually getting such a configuration installed is a bit of a challenge. While the tower appears to have plenty of room to install a water cooling setup, the radiator mount is rather tiny, only 122.5 mm, and can't support a 200 atom radiator. That's not a complete deal breaker as the design of the case allows for some creativity and build, and the overall size of the case allows plenty of space for radiators as large as 400 atom. It also features the room for open loop cooling, but more mounts are needed than are provided by Thermaltake. Despite falling a little short of the extreme claim, the Core P90 is altogether a very good choice for a custom water-cooled build. Aside from its water-cooling capabilities, the tower is actually pretty light on features for its class and price point. Out of the box, it doesn't feature RGB lighting, fan controllers, or USB 3.1 Type-C support, many of which are standard on other towers. Radiator placement also encroaches on the hard drive, leaving room for only one 2.5 SSD and one 3.5 hard drive. Instead, a Core P90 sets itself apart with its aesthetic and unique mounting and placement options. Its two-way GPU placement permits vertical GPU mounting and includes the riser cable necessary to make that happen. The number three position is held by Corsair Crystal Series 680X RGB. The Corsair Crystal Series 680X is an intimidating mid-tower case because of its size alone and RGB fans and hinge-tempered glass panels on its front and roof make it an absolute showstopper. Its unique dual-chamber design allows you to show off incredibly elegant builds and provides more than enough space for custom water cooling setups while keeping everything looking neat and tidy. The dedicated cooling chamber of the 680X boasts numerous fan and radiator mounts which gives you the freedom to be creative in your build. 
It can house radiators up to 360 in size in the front, up to 208 in on top, 104 in the back, and up to 208 in at the bottom of the case. The case is a great choice for a water-cooled build because of all the prime real estate it has to offer. Another great feature of this tower is the high level of accessibility. What good is all that space if you can't get to it? Well, the tempered glass that encases the tower is inch, making installation incredibly easy and gives you quick access. And a lovely view of all your components. Speaking of views, dazzling RGB fans come pre-equipped on the Crystal Series 680X. The 48 RGB LED are totally customizable and synchronized by Corsair's ICUE software. While the 120M fans might not be quite large enough to satisfy the most intense cooling needs, they represent an incredible value out of the box. Unfortunately, the 240M fan in the back is not RGB. Next at number 4, we have Asus ROG Strix Helios. With the Helios, Asus continues to wade into the tower market. This mid-tower is beastly like an American muscle car, potentially weighing more than 70 pounds when fully assembled while supporting Edex motherboards and a whopping 9 storage drives. The Republic of Gamers RGB graphic on the front of the tower brings a touch of color to the black aluminum body, and the tempered glass sides show off the internal components. The monstrous Helios comes out of the box ready for some serious water cooling, which will be absolutely necessary if you are to get the most out of this tower. Its radiator mounting bracket can support a radiator up to 420 in length and 9 m across, while the interior of the tower has more than ample room for any kind of water cooling configuration. Open-loop cooling looks incredible behind the tempered glass and the Helios has all the mounts you will need to make that a reality. All of this combines to make the Asus an excellent choice for a water-cooled tower. Additional cooling for the Helios is provided by four 104 m fans, and the Helios has mounting room for up to seven additional fans, even with a radiator and water cooling system equipped. Unfortunately, the 104 m fans are not upgradable, but their inclusion is still great value. The Helios sets itself apart from its competitors with its motherboard support and storage capabilities. Edix motherboard support and the option for up to 9 storage drives aren't often found in mid-tower cases, but Asus delivers. The number 5 position is held by Cooler Master Masterbox TD500. For the slightly more price-conscious, the Masterbox TD500 100 offers a robust water cooling system on a tower with all the expected mainstream features. Its water cooling capabilities are truly its greatest strength. It supports two 360 radiators on the front and side, and additional radiator support in the back. Of course, there's just enough room to get that all equipped, but it might be a bit of tight fit in the back with all the RGB equipped. The master box also readily accepts most pre-built water cooling rigs, so if you're looking for high quality cooling, the master box has you covered. However, you should look elsewhere if you're looking to equip a radiator larger than 306 m as anything larger than that will simply not fit. In addition to the dual radiators, it features three RGB fans out of the box and offers support for up to seven fans total. That's a serious commitment to cooling and more than sufficient for most builds. The RGB is easily customizable, but as mentioned before, the fan cords can get a bit unwieldy and crowd the back radiator. It would have been helpful if more cord management solutions were present. The fans can also be pretty noisy. The master box is covered in mesh, which really makes it a quite aesthetically pleasing mid-tower. It's got a sort of three-dimensional appearance and is quite striking, especially with the RGB fans illuminating it. Its tempered glass side panels have a unique slice in them too. Its looks are a major selling point and outclass most others at the price point. The number six position is dominated by Lion Lie Olevin Dynamic XL. The Lion Lie Olivin Dynamic XL operates on one simple principle. More is always better. Everything about the Dynamic XL is extreme. From its three 360 radiators, to the hot swappable hard drive bay, to its tempered glass covering that exposes every inch of its insides. This tower is not for the faint of heart, nor for the inexperienced PC builder. The Dynamic XL triple radiator setup makes it an amazing water cooling tower with space or mounts for three 360 radiators on the side, top and bottom. Almost any kind of custom water cooling setup is possible in this full tower. The interior is incredibly spacious, and there are plenty of mounts for everything. It's even possible to install larger radiators due to the sheer volume of interior space, but the mounts for that would not be included. In addition to the water cooling options, the tower also comes equipped with two 120M fans. It has mounts for up to a total of 10 additional fans. 
Though they can be a little noisy, coming equipped with fans out of the box is mark in the Dynamic XL favor. A totally unique feature of the Dynamic XL is its hot swappable hard drive bay. Four 3.5 hard drive bays can be swapped in and out without powering down the machine. This gives the tower more of a workstation sort of feel and elevates it out of the hobbyist realm. Despite its classic form, the Dynamic XL still has distinctive looks thanks to its tempered glass front and sides. The glass is tinted ever so slightly and shows off all, truly all, the internal components. In fact, inexperienced PC builders might shy away from this tower as it really showcases your cord management skills. Otherwise, the Dynamic XL is quite striking visually, with a tiny strip of RGB giving the front just a necessary pop of color. Moving on to the next at number 7 with Cooler Master Cosmos C700M. The C700M is Cooler Master's flagship model, and it definitely looks the part. Its striking metal handles are the first thing that grab your eyes. But it's the clean lines and aesthetically pleasing combination of light and dark materials that make your jaw drop. With all the subtlety of a shotgun, the Cooler Master Cosmos C700M is a fully featured behemoth of a full tower case. Its massive size and unique flat radiator bracket design gives the C700M a good amount of versatility when it comes to water cooling options. At maximum capacity, this tower can house two 420M radiators mounted to the front, top, or side of the frame. This provides a lot of freedom when it comes to installing custom cooling loops, and the total radiator capacity is quite large. Expect a tight fit. However, if you plan on fully building out a water cooling system, that tight fit, however, assumes you plan on maxing out his C700M's roomy interior and make use of its unique graphics card mounting capabilities. The video cards can be mounted vertically to show it off against the glass window in true showcase fashion. Riser hardware for mounting the graphics card is included. The C700M also features unique storage mounting abilities. 2.5 drive mounting is almost toolless and incredibly simple due to the small screws on the drive bracket. It's an interesting and elegant solution, but not all drives are mounted this way. All the 3.5 brackets must be mounted the usual way. 7 drive mounting brackets are included with the case. The number 8 position is held by Fantex and Thu 719. The Fantex and Thu 719 is a full-size tower with an eye toward extreme performance. It also boasts a great deal of storage dual system capability, and its dual radiator support makes it an ideal home for a water cooling configuration. The sleek aluminum and steel design, tempered glass panel, and in-your-face RGB LED make it a showstopper. The Enthu 719 supports dual 408M radiators and dual 360M radiators simultaneously. That unbelievable radiator volume can be the backbone of your custom water cooling setup. Of course, the Enthu 719 also boasts an incredibly roomy interior with plenty of mounting locations, perfect for a looping design. Take care to remember, however, that room fills up quickly when the tower is fully outfitted. If you measure and plan appropriately, you shouldn't want for anything with regard to water cooling. The rig is actually best suited configured in a water-cooled fashion, as the main drawback of the 719 is its airflow. It only stands one inch of the ground and the back and right side are completely blocked off, so air really only flow freely on one side. In place of the dual radiator systems, up to 15 fans can be mounted instead so air cooling isn't completely out of the question. The Enthu 719 is a true workstation. It has dual system and true EDX motherboard support making it more than just a gaming rig, despite prominently featuring Fantex Digital RGB. The stunning RGB easily syncs with the motherboard and other Fantex products, and like other showcases, you can vertically mount your dual graphics card. Next at number 9 we have Thermaltake Core Paid. Thanks to its modular layout, the Thermaltake Core Paid is an easily modifiable and totally customizable full tower case. It can be wall-mounted or show off an open layout after you remove the form-thick glass panels that line the front, side, and top of the case. It supports EDX motherboards and is capable of supporting a whopping four radiators. Obviously, Radiator support is a good indicator that the paid is ready for a serious water cooling system. Two 408M radiators can be mounted on the front and right side of the tower. The top houses a maximum radiator size of 306M, and on the bottom you will be able to fit a 204M. Incredibly, this is all supported simultaneously. Due to the open layout of the tower, both cooling loop configurations or all-in-one systems will find a spacious home in the paid. 
This tower will absolutely satisfy you water cooling needs, whatever they may be. For additional cooling support, the paint also features an array of fan mounts, so you can bring the best of both air and water cooling to your paint build. 20 possible fan mounting locations line the interior of this case. Imagine all those fans, all of them lit up with RGB, shining from behind the tempered glass. While the paint is not exactly the most aesthetically minded build, it's got the classic good looks of a high-end case. The tempered glass on this model is especially nice and a little bit thicker than many of its competitors. The glass is also removable, as one of the main selling points of the paint is the potential for an open-air layout. Finally, the number 10 position is dominated by Cougar Panzer Max. Nicknamed the tank due to its German heritage, the Cougar Panzer Max looks almost like something from an alien world. Mesh and brush plastic combine to give this full tower a futuristic military look and feel, while a tempered glass window shows off the internals. Handles and a keyboard holder on top of the tower give the form some function. The Panzer certainly has the threatening appearance to match its intimidating name. The Panzer Max offers support for up to four radiators of a modest 300 system. The radiators use the same mounts as the fans forcing you to choose between an air-cooled or water-cooled unit. Even if you were planning on a fully water-cooled build, it's still nice to have an air-cooling option, or at least more space to mount a more elaborate system. Two 120M fans come pre-installed in the front with an additional 120M fan in the back. Disappointingly, none of the fans are RGB, though it is nice they were included. Other towers in its class offer much more water cooling support, either by way of larger radiator capacity, more room to mount radiators, or more room to implement a custom-built looping system. Despite the lacking water cooling capabilities, the Panzer Max offers a host of other features which provide a lot of options for your build. It has the space to house six different motherboard form factors, though there is no dual system option here. It also accommodates four double-slot 309M graphics cards and up to six hard drives. That's all for today. All the product links in the description down below. We upload videos every single day. So, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button for the upcoming video notification.